I'm, I'm curious if you would share a little bit more about the multi-day fasting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this one, I, I have to be a little bit careful around, around okay. talking about this just because I don't want anyone to just jump right in or, or to be sort of offended by the fact that I'm not eating for five days. This was a practice that I, I built up to over time. And it started um, December of 2020 when I had COVID, I lost my taste and my smell. So that was the only, um, the only symptom I had. Luckily, I was, I was perfectly fine aside from that, but I, I wanted to taste my food again. I wanted to smell my coffee in the morning and enjoy yeah. my delicious meals. And, and this voice inside me was said, fast for three days. So I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. And I, I fasted for 80 hours. And then when I replenished and re-nourished myself, I could taste it again. I thought, wow, this is really cool. Um, <laughs> that was awesome. And I'm sure it could have been a coincidence, but um, I have studied it deeply since and I've practice it more and I've shared it with others. Um, I've built up to a four day fast and then a five day fast. And the, the reason why I went five days was because I had a pretty bad back injury that was lingering for months. And I had read this book called Beyond Fasting by Dr. Dan Pompa, who talks about the way multi-day fasting regenerates your body. Um, and, and around day five, you get a large surge of stem cells. So I thought, well, this could be an excellent way to test the method and repair my body. And sure enough, after 133 hours, I, I went back to eating and I could climb the rope down at Muscle Beach perfectly well, had no pain. Um, more, most recently, um, I did a summer fast of three days, was joined by around 20 other people and, and nothing but positive reviews. People, um, it's amazing how good you feel when you let your body rest, repair and regenerate for um, a longer period of time than mostly everyone is used to. And there's a, a deep, deep history, mostly in spiritual traditions around fasting as a, as a method of, of up leveling your body and mind and um, really is powerful. Yeah, that is super fascinating. And I'll make sure we get all of these, the, the books that you're mentioning too, um, in the show notes, because um, you've mentioned some good ones. And um, it's definitely something I don't know enough about, but it's really interesting to hear, um, you know, your personal experience. And I always say, like, I, I think we get really thrown off by feeling like we need to be right. And again, that's what I love about stories is if you're just, you're sharing your personal experience and that's one, it's very generous of you and open, but two, it's your personal experience. So it's not wrong, you know? And so <laughs> of course I, I, I always say, you know, consult your doctor and we're not doctors, but we're having a human conversation. And if you've had those experiences, I think it's super important that, you know, people get to hear about them. And so, you know, that's, it's, it's, it's really powerful. So, and um, are you drinking, you're drinking water during a fast? So or? I, the way I do it is, is zero calories. I haven't done a strict water fast. Um, the way I view that is, is a little bit more of a, a spiritual cleanse, whereas not okay. even getting any taste or flavor. I'll have black coffee. I'll have um, herbal tea. I'll have sparkling water. Um, and then around three teaspoons of, of salt a day. So it'll be breakfast, lunch, and dinner is like a teaspoon of salt. And, and that helps to make sure you have electrolytes and then and, and stay um, vitalized, especially because I, I have to work. So um, I'm, it's not like I can just lounge around for, you know, four or five days, yeah. but yeah. And then, and then I just kind of use that more of a, of a rest time for my movement practice. It's mostly mellow yoga. I'm not doing any intense exercise during that. Um, and I'd say that the one of my favorite aspects is how much less sleep you need and how energized and, and positive my mood is. Um, especially once I got used to fasting, um, the third, fourth, and fifth day are really quite remarkable once you get into that deeper ketosis, once autophagy starts happening in, in, in a more powerful way, which is the, the way that our body uses our fat cells and our, our inner energy to create um, life. So when the more you know, I learn about it, it's that, that concept of the more I learn, the less I realize I know. And I love hearing stuff like this because it does just keep you curious and learning. So I, I thank you for sharing all of that. <laughs> really you're cool. welcome. Yeah. It yeah. yeah, it's and it's one thing that I would say if if you're curious or if anyone is, is curious to like kind of build up slowly, you know, it's it's difficult to do and it's really a really heavy mind game. Like I love food and I want to be eating it three times a day. So to say that I'm not gonna have it for four days is like it's a, a bit confronting. So it, it took a while to build up to that. And then also just having the experience of how good it feels, it really is activating a, a super state, like evolutionarily, 
if you weren't eating food, your body would need to up-level, to up-regulate because, okay, we need to find something or we're going to perish here. 